Here is a My Froggy Soak mashup. It's a new year and our dolls are ready to hit the gym. <sighs> so we've put together some of our favorite crafts to help you make the best gym ever. From rock climbing walls to water bottles, we've got you covered. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. I am going to show step by step how we made our doll joggers from our one take video. Using t-shirts, a ruler, pins, and a needle and thread, chalk, and a sewing machine. However, this craft can be sewn by hand. I start by placing my ruler onto an old t-shirt or similar fabric. Using it as a guide, I trace around it, cut it out. Since the t-shirt was folded over, I now have double the length. So I cut it in half to make two. Cut another rectangle of fabric that measures from the top of the doll's waist all the way to her feet. With the good side facing up, take one of the strips of fabric and fold it in half so the good side is on the outside. Line up the raw edge with the top of the fabric. I can use pins to hold it in place. Use a back stitch to sew a straight line all the way across or a zigzag on the sewing machine so it can stretch. Trim off the excess to make the waistband. With the good side facing up, I repeat on the bottom. Only this time, I only pinned it at the beginning, so I can pull the thinner piece slightly as I go, giving it a little gather. Now I make sure that both ends are laying flat, so there is a clean edge on both ends of the larger rectangle. Fold it in half, line up the edges, and use pins to hold it in place. Place the doll on top, use chalk to trace around her to get the shape for the pants. When tracing, I made sure to keep it tight on the waist, then wider going through the top of the leg, then thinner near the bottom. And I left a little space for a seam allowance. So a straight stitch on the line drawn, try it on the doll for size, make adjustments as needed, trim off the excess, then flip them inside out, take a needle with embroidery floss or thread, make a small stitch on the waistband, Tie it in a knot, then a bow, to make a simple pair of doll joggers. And sometimes joggers have pockets. So I cut out two from leftover fabric, then I use a little fabric glue to attach them, and you're done. Happy crafting! going to make a gym bag for a doll using plastic bottle tops, cotton balls, fabric, ribbon, fabric glue, and hot glue. I start by finding two plastic tops that are the same size. Place the cap on the wrong side of a piece of fabric, cut a wide circle around it, make small cuts around the edge, glue them to the side, repeat to make two, measure a strip of fabric that can fit around the top, cut it for the width of the bag, Using a ruler and a pencil can help make straight lines. Glue ribbon to the top and bottom edge. Glue the fabric around the cap. Glue the other lid to the other side. Stuff it with cotton balls or tissue to make it firm. Cut two strips of ribbon. Glue them to the sides for the handles. Or I can attach the ribbon to the fabric before gluing it to the bottle caps. Cut and glue another piece of ribbon to go across around the edges and a final piece of ribbon for a shoulder strap. Remove the cotton to make a bag that can hold the doll's belongings. Add charms, buttons, or patches if you like, and you're done. Happy crafting!
is a quick craft. I thought we could use new water bottles for our doll yoga studio, so we're going to make a miniature version of Voss. Using clear glue sticks, paper, acrylic paint, and glue. I start by cutting the end off of a glue stick. Cut thin strips of paper, glue the paper around the top, cut a small circle of paper, glue it on top, paint the top silver, then carefully paint on the letters to spell Voss. Traditionally, Voss water has a white lettering with a gray outline. However, I chose to paint my miniature version silver because it's a little more subtle and helps to hide the imperfections in my lettering. Make more so there is plenty of water for all the dolls. Stand them up on the factory cut edge and you're done. Happy crafting! I am going to make a trampoline for a doll using duct tape, a spool from thread, cardboard, and an old pair of black stockings. I start by tracing two circles on a piece of cardboard, and I trace a smaller circle on the inside. I carefully cut them out. I cut out the center. I wrapped one of the rings with strips of duct tape. I placed the other ring inside the stockings trim off the excess. I glue the opening shut. On my second time around, I decided to make the bottom circle a little bit smaller and then glue the stockings directly onto the cardboard. I glue the circles together. I wrap duct tape around the spools, then glue them to the bottom. And now you have a functional trampoline for your doll. For a whimsical touch for a doll like Lala Loopsy, we wrap the spools with different colors of yarn. Want to make a trampoline for a larger doll? Try replacing the cardboard with old picture frames. I cover one picture frame with duct tape, being careful not to cover too much of the back. And then I carefully stretch the upper portion of a pair of stockings over the other frame. Tie it off and trim off the excess. Glue the two frames together glue on the legs, and you're done. Happy crafting! In this photo, our girls are exercising and staying healthy. They're staying well hydrated with water bottles from our How to Make a Doll Basket video. We made small hand weights using coffee straws and pony beads. And Frankie's yoga mat is a cut piece of craft foam. Happy crafty! I am going to make a martial arts room for a doll using a recycled cardboard box, skinny sticks, binder clips, wooden dowels, craft paint, craft foam, scrap of paper, a shampoo bottle and plastic jar, printable posters from our blog, and glue. I start by cutting out one side of the box, 
To create an opening, fold in and glue the sides, cut out the top to let in more light, glue on leftover cardboard to reinforce the walls, use scrapbook paper, contact paper, or paint for the walls and flooring. I chose to use scrapbook paper for the floor, cover one of the walls with a brick printable from our blog, covered the back wall with a foil scrapbook paper, and painted the other side wall. Then I lined the room with strips of black paper. And I chose to extend the mirror and then add a geometric pattern across the top using the paper. Now that the room is built, it's time to add a few fun extras. Glue together pieces of craft foam to make a mat, cut three skinny sticks, paint them, open a binder clip, and put the skinny stick inside. Repeat for the others, glue them to the wall, lay wooden dowels on top to be a bow staff rack. Remove the label from an empty shampoo bottle and plastic jar. Glue the shampoo bottle to the top of the plastic jar to make a freestanding punching bag. Cut out a few printable posters from our blog, attach them to the wall. But what if we would like for this room to have more than one purpose? Just remove the mat, the punching bag, run the wooden dowels through the openings of the binder clips, switch out the posters to make a ballet studio with a bar. And you're done. Happy crafting! going to make an indoor rock climbing wall for a doll using a large recycled cereal box, hot glue, and remember to always have adult supervision when working with hot objects. Paint, craft foam, scraps of cardboard, thin paper lunch bags, paper clips, printables from our blog, scrapbook paper, tissue paper, paracord, and glue. I start by cutting down one side of the box so that it opens up. Remove the top tabs, cover the outside of the box with scrapbook paper, then on the inside, cover the bottom of the box with paper, cut cardboard to fit inside the box. I cut triangles for the top corners. The cardboard is going to give the cereal box some support, so I even add a piece to the side wall, making sure to avoid the corner bend. Apply a generous amount of glue, then cover the cardboard with tissue paper or a lunch bag. I'm tearing the paper into small pieces and using a glue stick so that my cardboard doesn't get wet. And it has a much faster drying time. On a piece of paper, I use a hot glue gun to make mounds of glue, allowing it to cool between layers. Paint them and make a small dot in the middle. Peel it from the paper and glue it to the box. Make them in different colors. Unfold a paper clip, cut off one side, push and glue it into the top of the box. Cut a long piece of paracord. Use a hot glue gun to seal the ends. Run it through the paper clip for a few ropes. Cut cardboard, cover with paper, glue on the sides, the top, the bottom, Add cardboard across the bottom, then a shelf on top. Add another shelf at an angle. Then I add a small strip of cardboard so the dolls have somewhere to store their shoes. Make loops of paracord and store them on the bottom shelf. Now I've decided that I do want to paint it. So I'm going to add a little dry brushing which will allow me to go easily between the grips and I'm using dark and light colors to give the illusion that there is more definition. Using contrasting colors on the different levels help them to stand out. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Cut craft foam for floor mats. Use paperboard and a binder clip. Add a printable from our blog for a fun detail. Use printables to give the gem a name on the other side of the shelving unit to make a counter as well as the outside of the box. And when playtime is over, everything fits inside until next time. And you're done. Happy crafting!
for joining us for this My Froggy Stuff mashup. Let us know what mashups you would like to see in the comments down below. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram at My Froggy Stuff and The Frog Vlog, and we will see you next time. Bye!